Hey up everybody, uh, right I'm on part two of my uh, water tender that I'm making, uh, it's a water tender for a 5 inch gauge meter made locomotive that I built and uh, if you're interested in that I did it in a previous series, so there'll be three playlists, uh, the fittings, the actual boiler and the actual locomotive itself. So in this part, then part two, I'm going to deal with the main frames or the side frames. So what I'm going to do then, I'm going to mark the actual frames out to give me some guidelines to work to. Then I'm, then I'm going to move over into my workshop and uh, cut the uh, slots out where the axle boxes are going to fit and drill all the relevant holes that's going to attach the rear and front buffer beams, all the various bracketry that it's going to hold everything else together etc uh, so if you want to stick with me then we'll crack on with this just before I start part 2 uh, I've had these four stickers from some fellow youtubers that I'll just show you I'll work from the bottom to the top uh, at the bottom I've got here Rusty Knox if you've not seen Rusty Knox he does some uh, really nice videos on shaping plus various other workshop activities so take a look at Rusty Knox. I've got Paul here at the Knackler's workshop. Paul's setting up his workshop and uh, is setting uh, quite a lot of machines up in his new workshop that is uh, built from scratch. I've got Neil here at Nell's Mechanical Man Cave. Uh, I've shown this in a previous video. Neil sent me this um, optical centre punch that he's designed and 3D printed. And then over here I've got Chris at Dream Steam. Chris sent me his sticker with a little gift attached to it. Uh, thank you very much for that Chris. And what it is, it's a marking gauge. Uh, if you want to know how it's used, take a look at Chris's videos at Dream Steam. And Chris uses one of these in a lot of his marking out. 